Hey guys, how is it going? Today I'm going to talk about what piercings I have and which ones hurt and which ones didn't. Say hi, Ellie. Aww. Hey guys, so she just had um, kind of a tantrum so she wasn't really in the mood to say hi, but that's okay. Um, so I want to get into piercings, I'm going to touch on tattoos, and um, yeah, so I have on this ear, I have, it's like, well this is just, oh this is something else I want to talk about. These I'm loving, so like it just goes in your piercing here um, that a lot of people have, and then it hooks over this part, but it makes it look like you have like all these earrings in. Um, I just love it. So anyways, aside from this, I have like three right here. Big, medium, small, and then it's like ombre colors. So it's like dark blue, light blue, and then just like a diamond. Um, the blue, the dark blue one is a sapphire, and then the middle one, I'm not sure. And then the last one's not a real diamond, but it looks like the diamond. Um, and so then on this ear, I have my tragus, and this is like a gold heart, and then my cartilage, which right now it's just, this is a real diamond, like diamond cut, but I had a heart opal in it that I really want back, but the the back fell off, so I don't have a back for it, um, but yeah, and then the lobe here. So, so far that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I did have my belly button pierced for eight. So I have eight piercings. Um, so I love all of my ear piercings. Like I literally love them. Um, like I'm, uh, I would give more, I just don't know. Like I kind of want my second hole on my lobes. I would get the other tragus. I'll tell you why a little bit later. Um, but other than that, I probably think it's good. Um, but anyways, I love all my piercings except my belly button piercing. So I'll start I'll start with that one. Yeah, so the um, navel or belly button hurts the most. Like, um, and then also, like, I'll go into that more detail. But also, um, <clears throat> I feel like the belly button can, like, kind of have the most air to it. Like... Because the hole has to be straight. Otherwise, like, the um, jewelry, when it's on, it will look a little bit crooked or something. And then, also, um, like, she didn't really go through that much. Bless you, Ellie. Um, she didn't go through that much skin on mine. And so, like, after years and stuff like that, it was, like, it looked like if something, like, barely pulled on the jewelry, it would, like, come off. Like, it was, like, on the thinnest amount of skin. Like, I didn't have that much skin to, like, pull away from so that could have been why, but um, yeah, I didn't like that. And then I also didn't like when I was pregnant, um, you know, I took out my jewelry and just so I like, I don't know, most people would take it out when they're pregnant. So it doesn't like stretch it, I don't know. Like I had the cutest like pregnancy belly. It just, I didn't like the whole of the belly button, the like my belly button ring. Cause like, I just wish it was like smooth and then the belly button and then smooth. You know, like just like a nice clean look. Um, but like with the piercing there, like just the hole from the piercing, like I didn't like it as much. So if I could do it over again, I wouldn't have got my belly button pierced because also like that's like a really important meridian um, of your body that that belly button piercing is going through. And like I do feel like it can impact fertility and things like that. So yeah, if I could do it again, I wouldn't have got my belly button pierced. Yeah, and so about the pain with the belly button one, it was like, um, like it hurt and then the needle has to go through a very like decent amount of skin. And so it was like pain, 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 pain. And then like it did hurt after, it wasn't stinging after, but it was just kind of like, like irritated feeling. Um, and then when the jewelry got put in that hurt too. Um, yeah, not unbearable, I mean, but I have a high tolerance for pain, like, you know, I had a natural labor and all that. Um, but yeah, so moving on to the next piercing, let's do cartilage. 
so cartilage is a like fairly common one like i think it's like the lobes is probably the most popular and then cartilage is probably like the next most popular so the actual like piercing of going through the skin didn't really hurt like even if you like go like this to your cartilage it doesn't like hurt too much you know but after it was like on fire like i don't even know like you know it's probably just your body's reaction like you know like whenever you get cut or something like that like your body lets you know so that you can like check it out and assess it you know i think it's actually kind of cool so when i was a kindergarten teacher um and kids would get hurt and they're like ow 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 um, i would just be like your body's doing exactly what it's supposed to do like it alerted you that something you know happened and it's like your body's already healing itself and it like did something in their brain and they're like oh okay but anyways so yeah, it was just like, it was fire and it felt like it was like this big and like literally I thought I had to call like the fire trucks cause it was like, like I could just feel it. Like I felt like it was like 200 degrees. And so, yeah, but if you want the cartilage, I would say go ahead and do it. Um, as long as you research like the meridians and stuff it can affect, um, things like that. Um, I really do think like, so you know acupuncture, there's like so many acupuncture points on your ears and so when you get a piercing that's permanently like um like acupuncturing that spot i guess and then it kind of like it stops like okay so say you were like having eye problems and say you like go get this press and like it helps your eyes right so but say you get like a piercing right here then like over time it's not like helping it we don't know or I don't know if it's like damaging it but like you can no longer like use that as like a healing thing that's my understanding so you just have to like use your intuition and things like that and how much it's worth it to you um I would also say get like real um like gold or silver um for your piercings um the part that's touching your skin because I do think that's important um, not in like a bougie way, but like in a health way because like gold and silver is pretty like antibacterial and things like that um, Okay, so next piercing we will do um, tragus so The tragus the tragus you would think kind of hurts, you know um, Just like I don't know I feel like I would think it hurts but here is the details guys so, I didn't feel it. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I heard a pop though. Um, yeah, so he pierced it. I got like all of these piercings from the same guy except two I got in California. I'll get to that. But anyways, um, yeah, so I, I heard a pop and then it was like over. I didn't feel any pain. It didn't burn after. Um, it was like a small amount of skin, so it didn't like feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. It was just like that and it was done and I heard the pop. Yeah. So that's why I almost want to get my other tragus pierced. Like if I had to get another piercing, you know? Um, but yeah, so that's the tragus. Okay, so now to talk about these three. These three I absolutely love. Possibly my favorite piercing. So here's the story. I saw this, you know, like on Pinterest or whatnot and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I really want that piercing, things like that. So I was in California at the time visiting a friend and I got, I told him what I wanted. He's like, oh, you can't get three, you can only get two. And I was like, hmm, that's strange, but okay. <laughs> and so um, I got the bottom one and the top one. And like, it just, that was not the aesthetic <laughs> I was going for. Like. I just wasn't happy with it and things like that. And then so I went to my guy in Gainesville. Um, if you live in Gainesville, body tech, Justin, you probably know him. If you live in Gainesville and you have piercings, you probably know Justin. So anyways, um, yeah, I was like, I went to him and I was like, is there any way that there could be three here? He's like, yeah, I'll just put it in the middle. I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. Cause like the guy in California, he was saying that like the backs wouldn't all fit or something but the, like I'm feeling them right now it's like one two three perfectly like I feel the backs um so 
those hurt okay so here's the thing um here's actually the thing <laughs> so you know how like i got two simultaneously well like he did one and then he did the other but i was kind of like done like it really hurt like so if you got three like one two three like all that close together like you know within minutes of each other like i don't know if like if you're planning to get the three i would literally say like get the top and bottom one done like and then go eat lunch or like go shopping or something and then like come back and get the middle one or like if it's not like super far of a drive or something like come back the next day because like literally i'm telling you i got the first one and it was like what like that hurt right and i'm like sitting here knowing i have to get this done one more time so yeah like literally i'm telling you don't like don't even try to get all three at one time like i have a very high pain tolerance and like two was like crazy like i'm so glad i didn't get three back to back like just don't do it like make it like an adventure or something like or like make a thing like get the first one and like do something cool with your friend and then get the next one you do something another cool thing with your friend and then or like in each time you're getting one they're getting another piercing too or like like make it like as fun as you can or something like make it into an event or like if there's three things you have to do like three chemo treatments or like three years of sobriety like one for each year you make it like what else could it be oh like each month you don't eat sugar or something like go and get your next one like i don't know you should do it like that like don't just just go and get all three like it's gonna hurt so bad um yeah oh um i'll have this linked in the description literally guys i saw this like on an instagram ad you can't really where is it gonna focus so this one for this um company that i was gonna buy it from one of these literally just this like if i just bought this it would be like 14 dollars, not even including like shipping and things like that but i found it on amazon like a pack of literally like eight sets or something so like 16 of these and they're like there's different like patterns and things like that um there's like a moon like diamonds in a row diamonds this way um like a whole pack for like 11 dollars. so i ended up giving some away to friends and things like that but yeah super cute so i wear my hair on the side a lot so then i just put on this ear and i just love it so that is all um ellie is calling for me i hope this was informational and help you decide what piercings you would want to get and thank you guys as always so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys